Hi everyone, my name is Courtney and I am Fiber Fox Studios. Welcome to Mosaic Monday and welcome to part two of my Farahan Mosaic Shawl. We are going to be working pattern 37 this week and doing this section of the shawl. So you're joining on to your existing work from last week's video. If this is the very first video you are seeing, you have two other videos to watch before you come here. So jump up to the little I card up here on the screen. I will link the introduction to the Farrahan shawl, or you can go down into the description and you will find that link down there as well. So you can go watch that video and proceed through the series in the appropriate order. Down in the description on this video, you're gonna find the relevant timestamps for all the rows that we're working. Grab your yarn, Grab your favorite crochet hook. And let's hop in and get started on this part of the show. Row 39 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 39 begins, of course, with your two single crochets worked into the first stitch. Now we're going to work a single crochet all the way up to the center. So we're going to work a total of 86 single crochets over the next 86 stitches. So you are, of course, working in the back loop only because we're in the mosaic portion of our shawl, so nothing has changed from the last video. We continue to work in the mosaic technique, and we will be meeting up. Row 39's center is worked one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, and we are anchoring to that chain space back on row 37, double crochet, Chain two, one and two, and double crochet back into that same space. Now we're going to continue to work on down this side, working the same as we did working up. We're going to do one single crochet into each of our stitches, so that'll be a total of 86. And then we will work two single crochets into the very last stitch of the row. Row end, and we just hop in to that final stitch of the row, two single crochets, one and two. Bind off. At the end of row 39, you will now have 178 total stitches, which works out to 89 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 40 and you will be joining on with color A, two single crochets in the first stitch. Row 40's repeat is very simple. We're working our single crochet, so another setup row. So one single crochet working of course in the back loop in every single stitch and then we will meet up at the center and you will have 88 of these single crochets worked to the center. We are now at the center where we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, and we of course are anchoring to the chain space back on row 38. Chain two. And we continue to work our downside with one single crochet into the next 88 stitches. Make sure that your position of your first single crochet is right here on top of the double crochet that makes up our center from the previous row, actually. Let's go right on top of that. And that's where we begin counting. And you're going to work 87 more for a total of 88 single crochets. And then this time I'm going to let you work independently. Row end is the same. You're going to work two single crochets into the very last stitch of the row. At the end of row 40, we will now have 182 stitches. And that works out to 91 stitches per side. We're now working row 41. So you will join on with color B, two single crochets, first stitch. To begin row 41, we are going to skip the next stitch. So we're going to skip this stitch and we're coming here and we're going to work two double crochets into the same stitch. And 
There's number one and number two. Working into the very next stitch, our repeat's going to begin for row 41, and that repeat is three single crochets right here, very next stitch, one, two, and three, seven double crochets, here's number one, Two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Now we will work seven double crochets. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven, three single crochets, one, two, and three, and we will end the repeat with one double crochet. So let's recap what we've done. Repeat for row 41 begins with three single crochets right here. Now we work seven double crochets three single crochets, seven double crochets, three single crochets, and then we end with one double crochet. If you count all the stitches of the repeat, there are 24 stitches in this row's repeat. So you're gonna work that exact set of stitches two more times and then meeting up to work the center together. This is what your work will look like here on row 41 after you've completed the third repeat of our set of stitches. So here was number one, two, and then three. So that's the three full repeats. Now we're going to work our center together. After our third repeat, we begin working towards our center with three single crochets. One, two, and three. Seven double crochets. One, two, and three. Oops. Oops my yarn there, four, five, six, and seven, three single crochets, One, two, three, one double crochet, two, 
two double crochets worked into this next stitch one and two skip this next stitch right here and work our center and it's going to be our double crochet chain two and we are anchoring to the chain space back on row number 39 double crochet chain two and we go back in and double crochet now we're going to begin to work down and we of course need to mimic what we did on the other side so we skip this next stitch right here and we work two double crochets here into the next and our position is we're picking up our front loop on this double crochet from the center two rows below so we make sure we grab that front loop and do double crochet and a second double crochet. Now we will work one double crochet right here into this next stitch. Three single crochets. One, two, and three seven double crochets one two three four five six and number seven now we will work three single crochets one two three and we will begin our repeat for the downside on row 41, which begins with one double crochet. So we're going in reverse this time. One double, three singles, one, two, and three single crochet seven double crochets one two three four five, six, and number seven. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. six and seven and we end with three single crochets one 
two and three. So let's recap what we've done for the down repeat. For row 41, when we're working down, we begin with one double crochet, three single crochets, seven double crochets, three single crochets, seven double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So you're gonna repeat that exact set of 24 stitches two more times. Row 41 will end by working two double crochets here into this next stitch. One and two. Now we're going to skip one stitch and go into the last, of course, working our two single crochets. One and number two. Now we can chain up and bind off. At the end of row 41, you will now have a total of 186 stitches, which works out to 93 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 42, and we will be working in color A. After joining on with two single crochets in the first stitch, we begin our row 42 instruction with two single crochets worked into the next two stitches, one, and number two. Now our repeat for row 42 begins with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Six and number seven. Now we're going to work one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet to end that repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 42's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, and then we end with one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. You're going to work 
this exact repeat two more times for a total of three repeats. Just completed my third repeat. Now we're going to work our center. We begin to work our center with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Now we will work one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. One double, one single, and one double. Four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. Center, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, and we're working around that uh, chain two space from back on row number 40. One and two. Now we're going to begin to work down and we do so with four single crochets. Again, placement is key. We want to make sure that our first single crochet of this set of four lands right here on top of that double crochet from the previous row. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now we will do one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet into that little pocket. One double, one single, and one double. Seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and number seven. One double crochet. One single crochet. And one double crochet. Now we'll begin our repeat. One single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Here we go. Seven single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. and number seven. Now we'll end with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. There's one double, one single, and one double. So our repeat exactly like what we did moving up the row we are going to work down with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. So you are going to work that exact repeat and you need to work it two more times for a total of three repeats on the downside of this row. And then we'll meet up to work the row end. After the third repeat, we will work three single crochets. One. Two. And three, two single crochets into the last stitch, one, and two, one, and two. At the end of row 42, you will now have 190 stitches, which works out to 95 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 43, and you will join on with color B, two single crochets in the first stitch. Row 43 begins now, and we begin by skipping the next stitch. So we're going to skip one and work here into the following stitch, working two double crochets. One double crochet here into the following stitch. And now our repeat for row number 43 begins with one double crochet. Five single crochets. One. Two, three, four, and number five. Three double crochets. One. Two, three, seven single crochets, one, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. And we end the repeat by working five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. That ends our repeat, so let's recap it. Row number 43's repeat began with one double crochet, five single crochets, three double crochets, seven single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. You are going to repeat this exact set of stitches two more times for a total of three repeats, and then we'll meet up for the center. After our third repeat on row 43, we now need to work towards our center, and we're going to do so by working one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. Three double crochets, one, two, and three. Seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Now we will work one double crochet right here into this next stitch. Two double crochets will be worked into this next stitch. Here's number one. And going right back down into that same stitch. Number two. Now we will skip one stitch and we're going to work our center. Just like normal from this point forward really double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Now we're going to begin to work down and we need to mirror what we just did. So we're gonna skip one stitch. So we are skipping this stitch right here. Skip, and we're gonna come here to this next. And we are going to work two double crochets into that next stitch. So you'll notice picking up the top of this double crochet right here from two rows below. Double crochet and double crochets. So two into that one stitch. Now we'll work one double crochet right here into the next. Two 
And then we will work seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Now we need three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Five single crochets over these next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And now our repeat will begin. We're working the same repeat. So it begins with one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. And we'll end the repeat with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So that ends the repeat for the downside. You are going to repeat this exact set of stitches two more times for a total of three repeats. And we'll recap it real quick. We begin with one double crochet to start the repeat, five single crochets, three double crochets, seven single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. I've just completed the third repeat and now we're going to end the row by working two double crochets. One and number two. Okay, so into this next stitch, we're gonna work two double crochets. One, and number two. Skip one stitch and move here to the last and in the row with our two single crochets. And you'll bind off. At the end of row 43, we will now have 194 stitches which works out to 97 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 44 and we will be working in color A. 
Row 44 begins now. We are working, of course, in color A, two single crochets into the first stitch of the row. And we begin row 44 with four single crochets over the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now our repeat for row 44 begins with three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets will end the repeat. One and number two. So that ends our repeat. So now let's recap what we have done. Row 44's repeat began over here with three single crochets, right here, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet and then we will end with our two single crochets so you will start back over at the beginning of that repeat and you are going to work this exact set of stitches two more times and that will be for a total of three repeats after our third repeat we will now work towards our center and we'll begin doing so by working three single crochets One, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Three single crochets, 
one, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. And one double crochet. Four single crochets. One. Two three and four now we will work our center double crochet chain two and double crochet chain two and double crochet now we'll begin to work down and of course we need to pay attention to our stitch placement when working down, as we begin, we need to make sure that our first of our four single crochets that we're about to work, very first one needs to be on top of this double crochet from the previous row. So make sure you're grabbing up its back loop. Of course, I got a little tight and kind of stretch it up. Make it a little easier to get to. One, two, three, and number four. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet right here in this next stitch, one double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one and number two. Now we'll begin our repeat for row number 44 for our downside. And that repeat begins with three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet, three single crochets, one. Two and three. One double crochet. One 
one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we will end the repeat with two single crochets, one and two. So our downside repeat is just like our upside you're going to begin working that repeat with three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double, one single, one double, one single, one double, one single, one double, then three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. We end with the two single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of that repeat and continue to work that exact set of stitches two more times for a total of three repeats on our downside. Just completed my third repeat. Now we're going to do the row end for row 44. And we do that by working five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Two single crochets into the last stitch. One and two. At the end of row 44, we now have 198 stitches, which works out to 99 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 45, and you will be working in color B. Row 45 begins with two single crochets in the first stitch. Now we're going to begin working the row with one single crochet into this next stitch. Two double crochets, one, and number two, our repeat for row 45 begins now with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and 
nine. One double crochet. And we end with nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and number nine. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 45's repeat for working up begins with five double crochets, nine single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with nine single crochets. So you're gonna continue to work this exact set of stitches two more times for a total of three repeats. I have completed the third repeat, so now we're going to work the center. Essentially what we're doing here is working as much of the repeat as we can. So it's the same stitches we've been doing Starting off with our five double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five nine singles one two three four five six seven eight and nine, one double crochet, now we will end this time with eight single crochets because that's all we have room to work, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that eighth single crochet lands right here on the double crochet that makes up our center from the previous row. Now we work our center, which is the same as it has been. One double crochet, chain two. One double crochet all into that chain space. Chain two. Now we're going to begin to work down, and we need to do that by doing eight single crochets. And we just want to make sure that we place our first of the eight single crochets right here on top of that double crochet from the previous row. We want to go into that one. That's our stitch placement. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven and eight. One double crochet. Nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we'll begin to work our repeat working down, which is exactly like we did working up with five double crochets. So it begins now. One. Two. Three. four and five nine single crochets one two three four five Six, seven, eight, and number nine. One double crochet. And then we're going to end with nine single crochets. One, two, three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That ends the repeat. So work that exact repeat. Two more times for a total of three repeats on your downside, and we'll meet up to end the row. To end row 45, we will work after the third repeat on the downside, seven double crochets. One. Two. Three. four, five, six, and number seven. One single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochets into the last going completely into the stitch. At the end of row 45, we will now have 202 stitches, which works out to 101 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 46, working in color A, joining on with two single crochets in the first stitch. To begin row 46, we're going to start the row with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five 
and six. Now our repeat for row 46 begins with five single crochets. So you'd be marking this next stitch as your first stitch of the repeat. One, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we will end the repeat with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And if you are marking your repeat end, you would mark this stitch right here as the last stitch of your repeat. So now let's recap row 46. Our repeat for row 46 began with five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and work that set of stitches two more times. I've just completed my third repeat here on row 46. We're not going to work the center. This is another situation where we are just going to work as much of the repeat as we can before our center. So this time we will be ending the repeat with two single crochets instead of four because we're only going to have room for the two single crochets. So let's begin that repeat together. Five single crochets begins our repeat. So one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. Three single crochets, 
one, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. And we end with two single crochets right here at the center. One and two. Now we're going to work our center, which is just like normal. One double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And of course, we're anchoring back here on row 44 center chain space. One double, chain two, and one double back into that same stitch now we're going to begin to work down and we're just going to work basically what we are partial repeat and then we'll pick back up on the full repeat so we begin by working two single crochets right here that double crochet is where we begin working our single crochet so the first one goes there one and two one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets one two and three one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets one two and three one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet four single crochets one, two, three, and four. Now we pick up on our repeat just like we worked on the upside. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets, one, 
two, three, four. So that ends our repeat. So you're going to continue to work our repeat a total of two more times so that we have three full repeats on our downside and we'll meet up to end the row. To end our row, we are going to work seven single crochets followed by two single crochets into the very last stitch. Three, four, five, six, and number seven. And like always, one and number two. At the end of row 46, we now will have a total of 206 stitches, which works out to 103 stitches per side. We're now moving on to row 47. Join on with color B, two single crochets in the first stitch. Row 47 begins by doing one single crochet here into this next stitch. Six double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. and six. Now our repeat for row 47 will begin and it begins with five double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and number five. Three single crochets. One, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, three, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, and number three. Now we will work three single crochets, one, two, three. And we will end the repeat with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And that ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row number 47's repeat begins with five double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, 
one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with four double crochets. So you will be repeating this exact set of stitches two more times, total of three, and we will meet back up. After our third repeat, we have enough stitches. We're going to work most of the repeat again. So we work our five double crochets and carry on with that repeat. When we get here to this section where the last four double crochets would be in the normal repeat, that's where we are going to have to do an adjustment. So we're going to work up to that point, but I just wanted to let you know that is what's going on on this for those of you who just want to skip ahead. So we begin to work towards our center with five double crochets. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Three single crochets. One, two, three, three double crochets. One. Two, three, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets. One, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three. Now we're going to work one double crochet into this next stitch. Two double crochets are going to be worked here into this very next stitch. One and two. Now we're going to skip this next stitch right here, this double crochet, and work our center, which is just our normal center, working the double crochet chain two, double crochet, all into that same chain space from back on row 45. Chain two and double crochet. Now we're going to begin to work down and just like we did when we came up to our center, we're going to be skipping this next stitch right here. Skip that double crochet and come here to this next stitch, making sure we're going to pick up the front loop here on this double crochet from two rows below. And we do two double crochets into that front loop. So there's one. Back into it again. Here is number two. Now we'll work one double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to start working part of that repeat basically. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. Two and three. Three double crochets. One, two, three, one single crochet, one double crochet, 
one single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, and number three. Three single crochets, And three. Now we'll work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to resume our exact same repeat that we worked up towards the center. So that begins right now with five double crochets. And we're going to work this a total of three times. One, this repeat, I mean, two, three, four, five, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, two, and number three. One single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, and our repeat ends with four double crochets, one, two, three, and four. So keep working that exact set of stitches down your row two more times and then we will meet up for the row end. To end row 47 we will be working seven double crochets one two three, four, five, six, and seven. one single crochet here into the next stitch two single crochets into the last one and two bind off at the end of row 47 you will now have 210 stitches which works out to 105 stitches per side. We're moving on now to row 48. We will be joining on in color A with two single crochets in that first stitch. Row 48 begins by working eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. Make sure you do not miss this little guy right here. One, 
to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to begin the repeat for row 48, which is five, the repeat begins with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one double crochet. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. One double crochet, and we'll end the repeat with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 48's repeat began with five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So you will repeat that exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats because our shawl is finally big enough for us to have four complete repeats of pattern number 37, so our second design on the shawl. So you're gonna work three more, meet back up with me for the center. I've just completed my fourth repeat, so you can see it brings you right up here to the center. So your last stitch of the repeat lands on this double crochet from the previous row. Now we work the center, which same as it has been, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Here we go. So now we're going to begin to work down and we're going to do four repeats again. This time we're just working that same set of stitches in reverse. So we're going to do this repeat together. We begin the repeat for the downside by working four single crochets. So we make sure that our position lands the first single crochet on top of that double crochet. So make sure you're getting into that stitch. And we're gonna do four singles. One, two, three, and number four. One double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, one, two, three, 
one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to work that repeat starting with four single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end this time with five single crochets. You're gonna work that exact set three more times for a total of four repeats on row, and then we'll meet back up at the end of the row to finish out together. We're now here at the end of row 48. We have a total of eight stitches left to work. We're gonna work eight single crochets. And then, of course, two single crochets in the last stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. single crochets, last stitch, one and two. At the end of row 48, we will now have 214 total stitches, which works out to 107 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 49, Joining on in color B with two single crochets into the first stitch of the row. Row 49 will begin by doing one single crochet here into the next stitch. Now we're going to work a total of nine double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight and number nine now our repeat for row 49 will begin by doing two double crochets so we'd mark this stitch as the start of the repeat if you're using stitch markers it's one and number two three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, 
three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, and we'll end the repeat with three double crochets. One, two, and number three. So that ends the repeat for row 49. So we're going to recap what we've done. Row 49's repeat began with two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and three double crochets ends that repeat. You are going to work this exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats on the upside. And then we'll meet for the center. As you work the fourth repeat, you're going to notice that you run out of space but we're still going to work our three double crochets here. So I've worked one of them and we work the second and third here into this next stitch. So we work two double crochets of that ending three into the same stitch. And we only have to do that up here at the center. Now we're going to skip this next stitch. And then of course we work our center just like normal. One double crochet, chain two one double crochet and there we go now we're going to work our downside and the repeat is the same we're just going to have to adjust how we work our first few stitches of it here at the start as we work down that is it from there it's going to be exactly what we did working up so we do that by skipping this double crochet right here from the previous row and we're going to work two double crochets here into this next stitch. So we need to mirror what we are doing over here. Make sure you're going into that same stitch. We want to make sure that it looks good. Then the next stitch we'll do one double crochet. So that way it mirrors exactly what we have over here. So visually it looks the same. Now our repeat picks up and we're going to count these two double crochets as the start of our repeat. So we just proceed like normal from there with three single crochets. One, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, and three, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, and three, three single crochets, one, two, 
and three. And last but not least, we end our repeat with three double crochets. One, two, and three. So that ends the repeat. So you, like I said, you'll keep working that exact set. Same thing we did working up. We're gonna work on down your row, repeating this three more times for a total of four repeats. And then we'll meet up to end the row. We're now here at the end of row 49. To end row 49, we will work eight double crochets, one single crochet, and then two single crochets in the last. We're going to work it all together. So there's start one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Now we will work one single crochet into the next stitch, two into the last, one. At the end of row 49, we will have a total of 218 stitches, which is 109 stitches per side. We're now moving on to row 50, and we are joining on with color A, two single crochets in the first. Row 50 begins by working 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and number 10. Now our repeat for row 50 will begin with three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, oops, and we will end with two single crochets. One, and two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap it real quick. Row number 50's repeat began with three single crochets. 
one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with two single crochets. So you're going to continue to work this exact set of stitches three more times. So we'll have a total of four repeats again, and then we'll meet up at the center. After the fourth repeat, we will work two single crochets. One and two. Our center, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet into that chain space. La la la. Now we are going to begin to work down and we're going to do so by working one single crochet and our position needs to be right here on that double crochet. Now we're going to begin our repeat three single crochets. One, two, and three. So same as what we did working up. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. We end with two single crochets. One and number two. So you're going to continue to work that exact set total of four times. So we have three more to work off camera and then we'll meet back up to end our row. After our last repeat, we will work a total of 11 single crochets to end row 50. And then, of course, two in the last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. One and two to end the row. At the end of row 50, you will have a total of 222 stitches, which works out to 111 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 51. Join on color B to single crochets in the first stitch. Row 51 begins by working one single crochet, 10 double crochets, One, two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. Now we're going to begin our repeat for row 51. And that repeat begins with one double crochet. Nine single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one double crochet, three single crochets, so one, two, three, one double crochet. And we will end the repeat with nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and number nine so that ends the repeat let's recap it real quick row 51's repeat began with one double crochet nine single crochets one double crochet three single crochets one double crochet and we end with nine single crochets so work that exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats and we'll meet up at the center after the fourth repeat we will work one double crochet two single crochets one and number two now we'll work our center just like normal Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Now we will work two single crochets. Make sure your position for the first single crochet is right here on top of that double crochet. Very important. So there's one, and here is number two. And now we're going to pick right up on our repeat, same repeat that we worked coming up the side. We're going to work down with one double crochet, nine single crochets, one, two, four, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one double crochet, one, three single crochets, one, two, three. One double crochet. And we end with nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
8 and 9. So you will work that exact set of stitches once again three more times and then because we need four of them on this side so four total repeats and then we'll meet up at the end of the row to do that row in together to end row 51 we will work 11 double crochets and then one single crochet two single crochets in the last so we'll work that one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one single crochet into the next stitch, two into the last. At the end of row 51, we will now have 226 total stitches, which is 113 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 52. Join on color A, two single crochets in the first. Row 52 begins by working 12 single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we will begin our repeat for row fifty two by working one single crochet, one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six and number seven three double crochets one two three seven single crochets one two three, four, five, six, and number seven. Now we'll do one double crochet, one single crochet, and we'll end with one double crochet. Let's recap that. Row 52's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, 
one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, three double crochets, seven single crochets, and we end with one double, one single, one double crochet. So you'll start back over and work that exact repeat three more times for a total of four repeats, and then we'll meet up at the center. After our fourth repeat, as we work to the center, we will begin doing that with one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, center, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, just like normal. Now we're going to begin to work down. So we work two single crochets to start and we make sure that that first one is on top of that double crochet. Second one right here, one double crochet. And now we're going to be picking up on our repeat just the same as when we worked up. We're gonna do that same repeat now. We resume our repeat with one single crochet one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three double crochets, one, two, three, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. One double crochet, one single crochet and one double crochet to end the repeat. So work that exact set of stitches, total of three times, three more times, and that's for a grand total of four repeats. And then we'll meet up to end the row. We will end row 52 with 13 single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12 and number 13. Two single crochet in the last bind off. At the end of row 52, we will now have a total of 230 stitches which works out to 115 stitches per side. We're now moving on to row 53, working in color B. Join on as normal in the first stitch of the row with your two single crochets. Row 53 begins by working one single crochet, 
Now we will work 12 double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and number twelve. Now we will begin the repeat for row fifty three by working one double crochet. Nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and nine. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, three. One double crochet, and we will end the repeat with nine single crochets one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and number nine. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap it real quick. Row number 53 began, our repeat began with one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets one double crochet, and we end with nine single crochets. So you're gonna work that exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats, and we'll meet up to work the center. After our fourth repeat, we will work one double crochet. Four single crochets. One, Two, three, four, work your center, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, We'll begin to work down with four single crochets. The first of the four singles needs to be on top of this double from the previous row. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to begin our repeat for the downside, which is exactly like we worked coming up towards the center with one double crochet. So we're doing the same repeat. Nine single crochets. One. Two. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. And we will end the repeat by working nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. So continue to work that exact set three more times for a total of four repeats and meet with me to work the row end. To end row 53, we will work 13 double crochets, one single crochet, and then two single crochets in the last. We're of course going to work it together. So we begin right now with our first double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, keep grabbing that other yarn, twelve, and number thirteen. Now we will work one single crochet. Two single crochets, one and two. At the end of row 53, we will now have a total of 234 stitches, which works out to 117 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 54 and we are working in color a join on with your two single crochets in the first stitch row 54 begins now and we begin by working 14 single crochets over the next 14 stitches so we just begin with one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and now our repeat for row 54 will begin by working three single crochets one two and number three one double crochet
one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we will end our repeat with two single crochets. One, and number two. So let's recap our repeat. Row 54's repeat began over here with three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and then we work three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, then we end with our two single crochets. So you will work that exact set of stitches three more times and then we'll meet up at the center. After our fourth repeat, we will work three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One, two, our center, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Now we're going to begin to work our downside and we do so by starting out with two single crochets, making sure that that first single crochet is on top of the double crochet. There we go. One and two, one double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two. And now we pick up on our repeat. It's exactly the same as when we worked up. We begin with three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, 
three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And we end the repeat with two single crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set three additional times and we'll meet up at the end of the row. And we will end row 54 with a total of 15 single crochets over the next 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we'll end two single crochets in that last stitch. At the end of row 54, we will now have a total of 238 stitches, which works out to 119 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 55. Join on color B to single crochets in the first stitch. Row 55 begins by working one single crochet 14 double crochets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. Now our repeat for row number 55 will begin with three double crochets. One, two, And number three. Now we will work three single crochets. One, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, 
two, three, three double crochets, one, two, and three, three single crochets, one, two, three, and we end the repeat with two double crochets, one, and two. Let's recap what we have done. Row number 55 began, its repeat began with three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches, total of four times, so we need three more repeats of this set. We've done one together, and we'll meet up for the center. After our fourth repeat, we will work three double crochets. One, two, three, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, center, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, now we're going to begin working down with four single crochets. Make sure that the first single lands on top of this double. One, two, three, and four. Two sing or two double crochets, I mean. One. And number two. Now we pick up on the exact same repeat as we did working up. We're going to work three double crochets next. One, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, and number three, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, and three. And we end the repeat with two double crochets. One, and two. So you're gonna keep working that set three additional times so that you have a total of four repeats on your downside and we'll meet up to end the row. 
After our last repeat, we will end row 55 by working 15 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and number fifteen. One single crochet into the next stitch. See right there. And two single crochets in the last. After completing row 55, we will now have a total of 242 stitches which works out to 121 stitches per side. We're now moving on to row 56, working in color A. Join on with the two single crochets in the first stitch. Row 56 begins by working 16 single crochets. So we begin right here in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Our repeat for row 56 begins by working five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to work one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. Now we're going to work one double crochet. And 
and we'll end the repeat by working four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. That ends the repeat. Let's recap it. Row number 56 repeat began with five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So you'll begin working back at the beginning of the repeat, and you're going to work this exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats, and then we'll meet up for our center. After our fourth repeat, we're going to work towards our center, and we do that by working five single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two. Center. Same as always, double crochet chain two, double crochet around that chain space. Now we're going to begin to work down and we do so by doing two single crochets. Make sure that first one lands on top of this double crochet from the previous row, working in the back loop. All the normal stuff. One and number two. Now we're going to do one double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now we resume our repeat. Same thing that we did working up with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, one double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. And we end the repeat with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. So that ends our repeat for our downside, same as our upside. So you're going to continue to work that exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats. And then we'll meet up to end the row. 
After that fourth repeat, we're of course ending with a total of 17 single crochets and then two single crochets in the last stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and number seventeen. And then two single crochets worked into the last stitch. Da da da. We're now moving on to row number 57. At the end of row 56, we did have a total of 246 stitches, which works out to 123 stitches per side. So now, moving on to row 57, we are going to be joining on in color B, two single crochets in that first stitch. Row 57 begins with one single crochet worked here in this next stitch. There we go. Now we're going to work a total of 16 double crochets over the next 16 stitches. Right here is our first. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, number 12 again. There we go. 13. 14. And 15. Last but not least, number 16. Now we can begin our repeat for row 57 with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we'll continue with three single crochets. One, two, and three. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, 
and number three. Three single crochets. One. Two. Three. And we will end by working four double crochets. One. Two. Three and number four. So now we are going to recap what we have done. So the repeat for row 57 began over here with five double crochets. So we begin with five double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with four double crochets. So continue to work that exact set three more times for a total of four repeats, and then we'll meet up for our center. After our fourth repeat, we're going to work five double crochets. One. Two, three, four, and five. Four single crochets. One, two, three and four. Now we're going to work our center and we do so just like normal with our double crochet. Oops. Chain two and double crochet. Now we're going to begin our downside. We're going to work four single crochets making sure our first is positioned on this double crochet. There's one, two, three, four. Now we'll work four sing or four double crochets. One, two. three, and four. Now, of course, we're going to resume our repeat, working it four times total on our downside, and it resumes with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, three single crochets, one, two, and three, three double crochets, one, two, and three, one single crochet, one double crochet, oops, one single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, I'm sorry, we end with four double crochets, two, 
to three and four. So that ends the repeat. So just like you worked coming up, five double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with four double crochets. So work three more sets and then meet up with me for your row end. After our fourth repeat, we're going to end row 57 with 17 double crochets. And then of course, we will need to work a single crochet and two single crochets into the last. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Now we have these two stitches left. We do one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into our last one and two. So let's move on now to row 58. At the end of row 57, we will now have 250 stitches, which works out to 125 stitches per side. We're now going to move on to row 58. So join on in color A, two single crochets in the first stitch. Row 58 will begin by working 18 single crochets. And to this next, there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and number 18. Now our repeat for row 58 begins with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, 
one double crochet one single crochet and one double crochet now we will work three single crochets one two and three one double crochet one single crochet and one double crochet and we end the repeat with four single crochets one two and three and four all right so now let's recap what we have done for row 58 our repeat began with five single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet and we end with four single crochets so you're going to work that exact set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats and then we'll meet up after the fourth repeat for our center after our fourth repeat we are going to work five single crochets one two three four five one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet two single crochets one and number two now of course we work our center one double crochet chain two one double crochet now we will begin to work down making sure that we put our first stitch working down here on this double crochet we're going to work two single crochets over the next two stitches so there's number one and here's number two one double crochet one single crochet and one double crochet four single crochets one two three and four and now we resume our repeat for row 58 working five single crochets one two three four five one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet now we'll work three single crochets one two and three 
one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. Oops. One single crochet, one double crochet. And then, of course, we end the repeat with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. So you're going to continue to work your repeat three more times for a total of four repeats working down towards the end of our row, and then we'll meet up for the row end. To end row 58, we will work 19 single crochets, and then two single crochets in the last stitch, of course. There's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and number 19. Two single crochets in the last. And we can bind off. At the end of row 58, you will now have 254 stitches, which works out to 127 stitches per side. We are now working or moving on to row 59. We're working in color B. Join on with two single crochets in the first stitch. Row 59 begins now, and we're going to begin our row by working one single crochet here into this next stitch. 18 double crochets over the next 18 stitches. There's number one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 
17 and number 18. Now we're going to begin our repeat for row 59 by working three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. Make sure we're lining up. So here's where our first one goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. One double crochet. Nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll end the repeat by working two double crochets. One, two, and let's recap. Row number 59's repeat began with three double crochets, nine single crochets, one double crochet, nine single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you're gonna continue and work three more repeats of this set of stitches, and then that's a total of four, obviously, and then we'll meet up for our center just like normal. After our fourth repeat, we're going to work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we work our center, of course, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet into that same chain space. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to begin to work down and we're going to do so by working eight single crochets. We need to make sure, of course, that our first single crochet lands on top of this double crochet in its back loop. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. And now we will work two uh, double crochets right here. One and two. And now we will resume our repeat. So we're working the same repeat that we did working up. So it starts with three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Nine single crochets. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. One double crochet. Nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. And we end the repeat with two double crochets. One and number two. So just like before, you're going to continue to work three more repeats for a total of four repeats on your downside. And then we will meet back up to work our row end. Now we will end row 59 by working 19 double crochets over the next 19 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Number fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And number 19. One single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochets into the last. And bind off. At the end of row 59, you will have 258 stitches which is 129 stitches per side. Now we're going to move on to row number 60. We are working in color A. Join on with two single crochets in the first stitch. To begin row 60, we're going to work 20 single crochets over the next 20 stitches. One, two, three, Flip my yarn. Now we're going to do number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, and number 20. Now our repeat for row 60 begins with three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Now we will work three single crochets. One, two, three, one double, one single, one double, one single, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. Now we'll end the repeat by working two single crochets. One, and number two. So now let's recap what we've done. Row 60's repeat begins with three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and two single crochets to end your repeat. You're going to work that exact set three more times for a total of four repeats, and then we'll meet at the center. After our fourth repeat, we're going to work towards that center, and you begin with three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet. And one double crochet. Six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. Now our center, so let's double crochet around the chain space. Same thing we've been doing the entire shawl. Chain two and double crochet into that same space. Now we're going to begin to work down with six single crochets. Make sure the first lands on top of this double crochet from the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. One double crochet.
one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. Now we resume our repeat. It's the same repeat working down. So we begin with our three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. I'm really tired. Uh, I'm sure you can tell. Do, 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 do. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two and three. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and the repeat ends with two single crochets. Since it's the same exact repeat, I'm not going to recap it, but you are going to work it. Gonna work that exact set of stitches as exact repeat three more times for a total of four repeats, and then of course we'll meet up at the end of the row to do the very last set of single crochets that will be ending us out. You'll see when we get there. After your fourth repeat, we are going to end our row by working 21 single crochets, and then of course two single crochets in the last. So we begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. One and number two. At the end of row 60, we will now have a total of 262 stitches, which works out to 131 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 61. Join on color B to single crochets in the first stitch. We begin row 61 by working one single crochet here into the very next stitch. 
Now we're going to begin working a total of 20 double crochets over the next 20 stitches. So number one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and number 20. Now we will begin our repeat for row 61 with one double crochet right here in this next stitch. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. Three double crochets, one, two, and number three. Seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. And we will end our repeat by working five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and number five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 61's repeat began with one double crochet, five single crochets, three double crochets, seven single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. So you will start back over at the beginning of your repeat, working it three more times for a total of four repeats, and then we'll meet up for our center. After our fourth repeat, we are going to work one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five, six double crochets, one, two, 
three, four, five, and last but not least, number six. One single crochet right here on the top of this double crochet. Now we're going to work our center double crochet, chain two. There's chain two. And back into that same chain space for our second double crochet. Now we will begin to work down. Make sure that your first stitch lands right here on top of that double crochet from the previous row. To work down, we're going to start out by working one single crochet. Six double crochets. One. Two. Three. four, five, and number six. Now we will work, let's see, five single crochets, and then we'll be able to start our repeat again. There's one, two, three, four and five now our repeat working down on row 61 we'll begin with one double crochet it's our same repeat that we worked up with five single crochets one two three four five, three double crochets, one, two, and three, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Three double crochets. One, two, three, And we, of course, will work five single crochets to end that repeat. Two, three, four, and five. So that ends the repeat. You guys know what to do. You're going to do a total of four repeats down your um, downside. So you need to work three more, and then we'll meet back up and work the row end. After our fourth repeat, we're going to end row 61 by working a total of 21 double crochets over the next 21 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. One single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochets into the last one and two. At the end of row 61, you will now have a total of 266 stitches which works out to 133 stitches per side. We are now moving on to row 62, and you will join on color A to single crochets in the first stitch. Row 62 begins by working 22 single crochets across the next 22 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Now our repeat for row 62 begins with one single crochet, one double crochet, try that one more time, one single crochet, and one double crochet, Seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And that ends our repeat. So let's do our recap. Row 62's repeat began with one 
single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, and then we end the repeat with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. So you're going to continue on down working three more sets of this stitch um, or this repeat is for a total of four. So same thing we've been doing and then we'll meet up at the center. After our fourth repeat, we're going to work towards our center. And the first step we're going to do is one single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Eight single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. One double crochet, one single crochet. Now, of course, we work our center. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, all into that same chain space. Now we're going to begin to work down. We place one single crochet right here on top of that double crochet from the previous row. One double crochet into this next. Now we'll work eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll work one double crochet. One single crochet. And one double crochet. Now we can begin our repeat. It's exactly the same as working up. So it begins with one single crochet one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, now we're going to work seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one double crochet, one single crochet, One double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One double crochet, 
one single crochet and we end the repeat one double crochet and we need a total of four repeats so you will work three more on your own and we'll course meet up for the end of the row after our fourth repeat we will end with 23 single crochets and then of course the two single crochets in the last stitch of the row work those together now so there's one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, number 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and two single crochets in the last. And that ends our row. So we're going to move on now to row 63. At the end of row 62, we will now have a total of 200 and 70 stitches which works out to 135 stitches per side now we're going to move on to row 63 so join on with color b two single crochets in the first stitch row 63 begins by working one single crochet here into the next stitch now we're going to work 22 double crochets over the next 22 stitches there's one two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, number thirteen. 14 and of course number 15 16 17 18 number 19 oops missed that real quick and 20 21 and number 22 now we're going to begin our repeat for um, row 63 and row 63's repeat begins with one double crochet now we're going to work three single crochets one two, three, seven double crochets, Oops. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Now we'll work three single crochets. One, two, and number three. Seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll end our repeat by working three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. That ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row number 63's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, seven double crochets, three single crochets, seven double crochets, and we of course end with three single crochets. You're going to repeat this set of stitches three more times for a total of four repeats, and then we'll meet up there at the center. After our fourth repeat, we're going to continue to work up towards that center by working one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet, Ten single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten now we're going to work our center just like normal one double crochet chain two and one double crochet now we're going to begin to work our downside and we need to do so by starting out with ten double or ten single crochets oh goodness here is the next stitch. We need to make sure we're going into the top of that double crochet from the previous row. So that's where we start our single crochet. So there's one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. One double crochet, and now we're going to work three single crochets. One. two and three now we pick back up on our same exact repeat working four more sets of our repeat which begins with one double crochet three single crochets 
one, two, three, seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Three single crochets, one, two, three, seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we need to end our repeat with three single crochets. One, two, and three. So continue to work three more repeats of this set of stitches and we'll meet up at the end of the row. We're now at the end of row 63, so we're gonna work that row in together with 23 double crochets. So we start, here's number one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and last but not least, 23. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the last one and two. And we'll bind off. At the end of row 63, we will now have a total of 274 stitches which works out to 137 stitches per side. This ends pattern number 37 section of the shawl. From here, you can move on to part three, working pattern number 36 again with me for the end of the shawl. This is the actual extension part. If you have worked this in size four yarn, you already have a very large shawl by this point. And in size three, it's still pretty substantial size. The extension is provided as part three. And at the end of that video, I do the very simple border 
that we're doing on our shawl, which is just a single crochet type situation with a slip stitch, nothing fancy. So you can look down in the description on part three for that section of the video where I give the instruction on how we work that. You, of course, can wing it as well. As always, I truly appreciate you so much for watching. Hopefully, you move on to part three and work the complete shawl with me. But regardless, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please leave me a comment down below. Please make sure that you are giving the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy this specific type of project from me. Until next time, bye for now.